Where did God come from? Most everyone knows the Christian's response to this question. God is eternal. He did not come from anywhere. Although atheists may think that this answer is unscientific and merely an attempt to avoid the question, in truth, observation and reason declare otherwise. The question, where did God come from, or what caused God, assumes that God had a cause. However, by definition, an eternal spirit, the everlasting God, cannot logically have a cause. Asking about God's cause is as incoherent as asking why matter is eternal. Matter's not eternal. Matter is no more an eternal essence without a cause than God is a physical being with a cause. Asking where did God come from is like asking when did eternity start? By definition, eternity never began. Eternity is without beginning and end. By definition, so is God. Friends, from what we observe in nature, matter and energy are neither created nor destroyed. Scientists refer to this observed fact as the first law of thermodynamics. Evolutionists allege that the universe began with the explosion of a ball of matter 13 to 14 billion years ago, yet they've never provided a reasonable explanation for the cause of this supposed original ball of matter. An attempt was made a few years ago in an issue of New Scientist magazine titled The Beginning, What Triggered the Big Bang. Notice, however, what the evolutionist David Shiga stated in the last line of the article. The quest to understand the origin of the universe seems destined to continue until we can answer a deeper question. Why is there anything at all instead of nothing? The fact is, a logical naturalistic explanation for the origin of the original ball of matter that supposedly led to the universe does not exist. It cannot exist so long as the first law of thermodynamics is true that matter and energy cannot create themselves. Since the physical universe exists, and yet it could not have created itself, then the universe is either eternal, or something or someone outside of the universe must have created it. Relatively few scientists propose that the universe is eternal. In fact, there would be no point in attempting to explain the beginning of the universe, with the Big Bang, for example if scientists believed it's always existed. What's more, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that matter and energy become less usable over time, has led scientists to conclude that the universe has not always existed. That is, it's not eternal. So why don't the laws of thermodynamics, or the laws of causality, apply to God? Because these scientific laws, like all scientific laws, apply to what we find and study in nature. And again, by definition, God is not natural and thus is logically not subject to the laws of nature. If matter is not eternal and it cannot create itself, then the only logical conclusion is that something or someone outside of nature who is supernatural caused the material universe and everything in it. Christians call this someone the eternal God, because He is from everlasting to everlasting.